What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am with my good buddy Mitch at Blaze Off Road. And what we're gonna be doing today is basically replacing my Switch Pro kit um, with the new Garmin power switches. Now, we're gonna be doing two of the Garmin power switches in the engine bay of the truck. He made up a custom bracket, which will be for sale here shortly. Um, but basically, I've had some issues with my Switch Pros. It doesn't wanna connect to anything Bluetooth, any phones, it doesn't matter if it's mine or anybody else's, it just doesn't work, so I can't program the, uh, the Switch Pros anymore. So what we're gonna do is take out the old Switch Pros and put in the Garmin to try that out. Now I could have just gone to, um, you know, Switch Pros and be like, hey, I'm having issues with this, can you replace it? Their customer service is pretty damn good. Uh, they would have replaced it, but I figured I'll try something new. That way I can give you guys feedback on the Switch Pros versus the Garmin power switches. So Mitch is gonna show us the kits, uh, basically how to hook it up, set it up, how to program it, and then we'll go from there. Let's go. All right guys, Mitchell with Blaze Off Road here. Today we will be showing off our twin Garmin power switch setup that we have in development. By the time this video drops, it will be live on the website with the new bracket. This is the prototype bracket we've got right here. This is going on Josh's truck that you see behind me. We'll be doing a full install of this today, showing you guys about the bracket, about the power switch, and talking about some of the different upgrade options that we offer with this kit. Now that you guys have seen what is gonna be going in the truck, let's take the Switch Pros that I can't program out of the truck. If you guys want a Switch Pro, you can also get these on the Blaze Off Road site. And he has a whole, um, you know, same kind of thing with a bracket. It's all a DIY pre-wired kit, essentially. You can do it yourself, but you don't have to worry about mapping everything out. Again, it's just, doesn't connect to Bluetooth, so I'm gonna replace it, try something new. That way I can get some actual first-hand experience on the Garmin power switches and realistically compare the two and not just say Switch Pros is better because, right? I'll have real world experience for both of them. That's all that's left. So Switch Pro is out. All we're left is with Medusa over here. All the wires. So take all these out, disconnect everything. We're gonna do all new battery cables. Um, and then the Garmin power switches will mount right over there. So with either our single Garmin power switch or our new power switch setup, we offer a few upgrade options at checkout or when you're looking at the product. The first option is upgrade the cables. So that's gonna take the cables that come with it like this, just standard heat shrinked cables Nothing special about them. It's what comes with the Garmin setup and with the Switch Pro setup. And we upgrade those to a braided TechFlex cable. We use a carbon TechFlex, so that's a clear and a black. It allows you to really be able to distinguish the difference between the black and the red cable. Super easy to see, great for maintenance and whatnot. That's the first upgrade option. The second upgrade option is to do a post mount fuse. And so what this does, this, this replaces the inline fuse that comes with the Garmin setup. The reason that post mount fuses are great, and we highly recommend using these, is you're getting rid of any extra little unfused battery cable that could run up, rub up against something, chafe, and cause a short, which becomes a very bad situation when it's an unfused system. Also, you'll see these post mount fuse systems just aren't perfect, they're from Little Fuse. This is what comes with the Switch Pro setup. I believe it comes with the S-Pod and with the Garmin. It's just industry standard, but you end up with all these little unprotected areas right here that it could possibly arc out. And in the Toyotas, you obviously have that, ba that battery tie-down rod that runs right there, sitting right next to this. So we highly recommend upgrading to these. The last upgrade option is to obviously go ahead and get yourself one of the Garmin Overlander or the Garmin Tread Overland tablets. These guys are awesome. You see this little antenna right here? It's the same one that's used on the Garmin InReach. The Garmin InReach allows you to have satellite tracking, messaging, SOS. You can get search and rescue insurance, which I personally have, because I like going out off-roading alone at night, stuff like that. It's awesome for when you're going out middle of nowhere and really want that extra reassurance. On top of that, there's 3D mapping with this. 
it's really cool because when you're driving up the trail you can actually see it's not just topo lines on your map you actually see from essentially google earth the carves into the mountain on the map on the garmin these things are awesome lots of features you can obviously control your power switch from it program all kinds of stuff so that is an awesome upgrade that you can always add later but save a few bucks by adding it at checkout when you're purchasing one of our kits So here's a closer look at the twin Garmin power switch kit from Blaze Off Road here. You can see it mounts to the side of the engine bay in there and you'll have one facing down on both sides so that you can run your switches the way you need to run them. But then you've also got a ground bar here to ground all of your switches or accessories or anything like that. Now this one is a prototype, it'll be a little bit different um, when the actual one comes out and your guys's will come powder coated black as well But you can see how cool and sleek this is it just mounts straight up Inside there and then you can run all your accessories and everything To these and control them either from the tablet or from your phone Let's throw it in it's a little bit of a pro tip for you here on the installation process if you flip the unit back like that It's a lot easier to get to this back bolt Same goes for our Switch Pros kits. Once you get that one threaded, you run it most of the way in, just so you're not having to like reach your hand way under later. You're gonna flip it forward, and then you can throw your second bolt in. There it is. So everything is now wired up. All the lights are wired up. Everything's still labeled the same as it was. Um, and I'm going to go a little bit deeper into what you can actually do with these Garmin switches with whatever you're running the power switches with. Whether it's an iPad, a Samsung tablet, your phone, or if you're using the Garmin specific Overlander or Tread tablets, um, you can customize these switches to do basically whatever you want. I have one switch right now that turns on every single one of my front lights. I have one that strobes my roof light bar. I have one specifically for all four lights in the rear. Um, obviously one for the locker and all that stuff, but you can make each button do and turn on whatever you want it to, right? I have a master on that does all the front ones. I have a master strobe that strobes all the front lights as well. Um, and I'll have to show you guys that on the tablet itself, which I'll do next. So let's dive into the tablet. The way I have my iPad set up, and this is a custom thing that we just did. So I have uh, the power switch number one, which has all of my front stuff attached to it. Power switch number two, which isn't full yet. I've got some stuff that I have to put on here. Uh, I did rear lights and my front locker on this screen here, but you can also do custom screens like this one and make them do custom things, which is really cool. So I have it set to where I can have on just the amber lights up front, I can make the roof light strobe, uh, master front turns on every single light up front, rear lights, um, rear strobe, all front strobe. Like you guys can literally do whatever you want with this, which is so cool. And if you go into like settings, or let's go like this, let's go edit. Now, if I wanted to change this, I could just do rear strobe. If I want to change the color of the switch, I could do that too. Uh, if I wanted to add a function or action there, and you can literally program it to be however you want it to be. And it's so simple. Once you're done setting it up the way you want it, click done and you're set. Again, you can just go back and forth between 
here if you want to or you can go to the second switch or your custom switch but it's that simple to set up it's so nice and I, I'm gonna set it up here and I'm gonna set it up on my phone the exact same way but it's it's pretty it's pretty damn cool I think I'm gonna be happy with this thing I'm gonna add more stuff to it as well so you guys saw everything installed uh, we talked about the buttons a little bit I'll show you more of that in a second here I'm gonna have Mitch basically tell us the simplest way to install this and how to wire it up and it's like three things and you guys are good to go all right guys we have two things going on on josh's truck here we obviously have the twin power switch set up and then we have the universal fuse block set up i like keeping my brackets nice and compact super tight i don't have these big trays that block everything and so i offer these as separate products so that people can add these wherever they want if they need them some people don't need fuses josh needs a few so we added that setup in terms of the garmin twin power switch setup super easy you get power to each one that's over here to your post mount fuses this is an upgrade available when you purchase it we use the upgraded sheathed cables with the tech with the braided tech flex so each one has power you have one ground cable and you're pretty much done a couple power cables one ground that's it all you do is wire your lights in wire your lockers air compressors whatever you need super simple so there you guys go basically you're giving the switches power you're grounding them and then you're plugging in basically whatever you want to run to the Garmin switch. It's that simple. You're not running cables, wires through firewalls. You're not having to worry about any of that stuff. It's literally just give it power, run your lights to the Garmin and you're good. From there, all you have to do is hold the center button. It'll blink blue. Um, go to your Garmin power switch app and then link it, right? And you can add multiple to one app um, I have two set up to it so I can sw swap between the two different um, Garmin's or I can just have one button turn on literally everything, right? It's pretty cool. So there you guys go. That's going to wrap up today's video. Um, but that is the Garmin power switch in a nutshell. So I went with two of them. Um, you can get yours. I'll link it down below uh, in the description. It's Blaze Off Road. The tray that you saw that was kind of bare, uh, raw, essentially, um, yours will be powder coated. So you have an option to either do one or two, or you can get the tray that holds two, but put one on it for now as you build your rig. But I mean, the app is super easy. The setup is super easy. The app is really, really customizable. You can make certain buttons do certain things, strobe, certain switches, certain lights. Like, it's sweet. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this this new setup. Um, I did love my Switch Pros, but I just had some issues with it, and it just wasn't worth it anymore. I wanted to try this out, get my hands on it, get real world experience with it, so I can give you guys an honest review. Now I'll do another review on this setup in a couple of months, right? Because my Switch Pros didn't go bad for like six to eight months. Um, but I will be doing that for you as well. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bells for notifications. But until next time, peace.